Hi there, this is Mr. Moore. This is just a test to uh, play with flipping the classroom. Um, this year, we're going to be doing some online work and some of the presentations that we would normally show in class or that we would work with in class are gonna be done uh, both on mobile devices, uh, at home, on the go, and this will give you access to them um, in multiple situations instead of always having to use them. Um, or just pay attention only during class. You'll still have to pay attention during class, but um, this is just a test right now to see how that um, to see how this comes together. So, uh, what you should be looking at right now is a picture of our some of our classroom rules, expectations, uh, our daily routine. As you can see, la clase de español, which means um, you know Spanish class. I am, of course, Señor Amor. Uh, we have a daily routine, which we're going to be talking about the first day, entering the classroom, sitting directly in your assigned seat, uh, taking out a textbook, notebook, writing utensils, basically all of your uh, learning utensils you should have with you as you walk in the room. Uh, try to have them out and ready to, to uh, use immediately once you come on in. Um, if there's anything to turn in or correct, uh, we will do that more toward the beginning of the hour, usually. Um, our daily lesson with written and oral practice. We'll have more of a focus on the uh, oral practice and the written practice in class. Um, in the past, we've had a big chunk of our of our lessons at the beginning of the week uh, more geared towards explanations of things and me getting up in front of the Promethean board and, and trying to explain a specific grammar point in the process and things along those lines. Uh, we're sort of flipping that a little bit, and we're making that accessible outside of the classroom in advance um, for individuals that are having a hard time accessing the internet or video content. Uh, there will be time in class for you to be able to view that. I, I'll show these lessons on the Promethean board as well as we're working on our, our other classroom activities. Now, what we'll probably end up doing is spending a lot more time instead of being rushed to finish our activities at the end of class we'll have more time throughout the course of the hour because i won't be giving a big long lecture to the students that will be something that they're that they're uh, ingesting on their own time outside of class or as the video is playing during class and i'll be able to circulate throughout the room or have students uh, come to me and able to help them with the practice side of this a little bit more and hopefully we can ensure a little bit better uh, retention along the way. So anyways, uh, I digress. Uh, homework or assigned time for work and our tutoring. Hopefully we'll have more time since we're flipping things around and allowing you to view these uh, items online. Other class procedures. Um, passes only during independent work time. Please make sure that you're um, that you're not abusing restroom passes or hall passes, things of that nature. Uh, only one person out of the classroom at a time. Uh, we try to uh, not congest our halls too much. So uh, if, if more than one person has to leave for something at a time, then rarely we will allow for that. Um, but we try to keep it one person at a time. Uh, remain in your seat until dismissal. Um, we will always make sure to um, get rid of you guys on time. It's a nice choice of words there. Um, but we will probably, as soon as the bell rings, I will give you some sort of final comment, a last minute reminder, something along those lines, and then you will move on to your next class or lunch period or dismissal from that point. Um, en español, whenever possible, recuerden ustedes, es una clase de español, entonces vamos a hablar um, muchos tiempos en español totalmente cuando podemos, cuando queremos. Um, so it'll be important that you're continuing to try to listen, try to decipher, memorize all of your vocabulary. This isn't going to be something that happens overnight, but it will be something that happens over time. Our weekly routine, usually on Mondays, we begin new lessons. Tuesdays will usually be vocabulary quizzes, workbooks, more speaking and listening practice. Uh, Wednesdays, we'll usually have some sort of a, 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 an assignment um, that is from the textbook. We'll be correcting things from the days previous as well. Thursdays are usually geared more towards um, practicing um, what we've worked with the previous three days. Usually we will end up previewing that uh, week's quiz or test. I'll show the students a quick copy of what it may look like and then Friday we'll have some sort of an assessment. So uh, in terms of our policies, 
these are pretty straightforward. These are fa fairly on par with what other teachers have um, in their classrooms as well, which is that you can turn in work late, but it's usually for some sort of reduction in credit over time. And the, speci the specifics are, of that are outlined here. Please make sure to pause this at some point and take a quick look at that. Um, notice that for quizzes, and I call quizzes and tests really the same thing. Um, those are on Fridays usually. Every once in a while, we'll do a vocab quiz on a Tuesday. Uh, they're usually between 20 and 40 points. Um, please make up missed quizzes or tests within a week, all right, so that we can so that you can receive full credit for them. Retakes for a replacement score must be done within a week of the original quiz as well. And all retake or makeup quizzes must be done before or after school. So uh, to answer the question that I get the most throughout the course of the year in advance, can I retake this? Yes, you can, but you need to do so. Uh, within a week of, of, of it and it must be before or after school. I don't have a, a time during um, during the course of the day that I can devote to for, to retakes or makeup so that'll be something that students are going to do on their own time. Uh, the grading scale is in the student handbook and it's the same for every single class at Heritage High School. Um, just a few other things to throw at you just to get the ball rolling a little bit. Um, we will be doing an activity on the first or second day, which has to do with identifying some different cognates in Spanish. And we'll be talking about some things in groups as well. This is one of several of these styles of assignments that we have. Um, we will be doing a pretty big vocab list to start out. You'll notice that there are some phrases that are involved in this as well, some things that you need to understand and hear, some things that you need to be able to say very well in class the different colors in Spanish, the different numbers in Spanish. And again, all of these are, are going to be given to you. You're gonna have a hard copy of this that you're to keep in a folder. And hopefully, um, little by little, we can, um, we can gain some understanding and we will practice this on a daily basis. And on that very first Friday, we're gonna have a little quiz and the quiz will look something like this. So you won't have to have everything memorized orally the first time. This will be more of a matching style quiz. There will be a few numbers that you need to spell out as well as the colors as well. And that's kind of what the first week looks like. Again, this is only a test. Probably very few individuals will ever actually see this video. We're just getting comfortable with the software and a few other items and we'll only build from here. So have a great day. Carry on. Y buena suerte.